Looking to make it four wins in a row. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Cross. The Yuma Catholic Boys soccer team ended 2021 with three straight wins. They opened 2022 portion of their schedule today against Heritage Academy Levine looking to keep the win streak alive. To as the Shamrocks and head coach Ralph Evans enjoying a home start to open 2022. Here we go. Yeah, the Joe Arnold and the uh, heroes late second half heroes crossing pass near the goal is cleared away. Rocks up comfortably for one under 10 minutes to play. Watch the hustle by Rocks Arthur. I'm I. Amai keeps the ball in bounds and sends a crossing pass into the box for Mario Martinez. Martinez has the shot blocked by a defender. Moments later, on a free kick by Jose Navarro, it's going to clear all defenders. It lands in front of Martinez, and Martinez just can't get enough on it. Score remains 4-1. Yuma Catholic goes on to win by that very score. They've now won four straight games and will next host ALA Ironwood on Saturday at 5 o'clock. Moving on to prep girls soccer, head coach Santos Rangel and the Copa Lady Kings play host to Valley Vista to open up their 2022 campaign late first half. It'll be Twina, Twina Leona Felix free kick attempt goes directly to the Monsoon's goalkeeper, but the Lady Kings would stay relentless on the attack. Moments later, Melissa Esquivel starts a passing sequence that gets to freshman Norina Escalante, whose shot is denied once again by the keeper. But Kofa would keep trying to break the 2-2 tie. Bianca Rodriguez centers the rock to Diana Gonzalez, but her shot is going to be blocked by the Monsoon defender. But her fortunes were about to change. Gonzalez sets and delivers a long-range shot that deflects off a defender. Watch this. And sails into the back of the net. The Crimson and White would control the match from there, getting the 5-2 victory. In prep girls basketball, the injured Aeneas Cook supporting her Lady Yuma criminals teammates as they host Estrella Foothills at the Palace. First quarter, Tylee Jim turns over the ball to Faith Garriga, who quickly scores, getting the first basket of the game. Lady Crim is down early. Then they would try to respond. Relona Zuniga gets the turnover, leads the break the other way, but her lead in pass to Alyssa Franco way ahead of her. She just had, but Yuma would rebound. Franco starts a passing chain that would get back over to Jim underneath, and she puts in the layup off the glass, getting the crims on the board. Later in the fourth, Jim would miss the baseline jumper, but Franco comes up with the loose ball, finding a wide open Zuniga for another Lady Crims deuce. Yuma would have their bright spots, but they would suffer their third loss in the last three days, taking the 61-26 defeat. Congratulations to Arizona Western's Alliance and Diva on being named ACCACD1 Women's Basketball Player of the Week. For the weeks of December 20th through January 2nd, the freshman finished the three-game week, averaging 14 points per game, 10.3 rebounds, while blocking 14 shots. The ACCAC Division I Player of the Week honor is Indiba's second of the season.